Well, what's going on, everybody? You can find it for you, and I'm here with another Monday video thing. I don't know really what to call the that's the segments of the little Monday reviews, Monday reviews, Monday analysis. I don't know what to fucking call it because I'm very bad with names. But now come to mind later, later on. So I'm gonna go over two cards today. Now instead of talking about cards, I didn't say you only be could could only be one card, it could be multiple cards. Usually maybe a maximum of three cards, three or four cards possibly. So I have we have two TCG exclusives here from Cosmo Blazer we're gonna be going over right now. And they're both related to the Fire Archetype. My opinion many towards the Fire Kings, which is a really damn good archetype. I do like the Fire Kings quite a bit because I like the fire attributes. So Let's get started with Bonefire Colossus, which I do like the artwork for quite a bit. It's really nice. Got a nice little castle here, looks like. They got a gigantic freaking fire giant coming to attack, coming out, out from behind it. Looks like some from Shadow of the Colossus, except I don't think the guy, which I forget the name of the person, would be able to climb something made of fire. Anyway, this is a level 8 monster. With 20, 2600 attack, 2200 defense. If you control a fire monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. When this card is special summoned, target two fire monsters you control and destroy those targets. So, like I said, this is pretty much going for the fire king archetype, which they need to be sure the card effects in order for their effects to really go off. Minus a couple like Yashka and. Killing, I think, is the other one that doesn't need to be destroyed by card effect. It's just whenever they're destroyed. And sent to the graveyard, of course. So, that's pretty much what he's helping. But, in my opinion, I if I was going to text something like this in Fire Kings, I'd rather go for Goka, the Power of Malice. Since that's a card that has the same effect as, as Colossus. Except this one, it's special summoned by its effect. And you only destroy one Fire Monster you control. So that way, it's not as situational, in my opinion, because you only have to have one fire monster in the field, and just so you can just pop the other fire monster, have a 2200 attack fire monster in the field. Because with this, you want to have, have two fire monsters that keep him on the field, or you have rekindling and stuff like that, and it's whenever he is special summoned. So, it's just really, really not that good. If it was only special for his effect, then it'd be awesome because it'd go Monster Reborn and bring it back. <laughs> it's worth a country beat stick. And that's really awesome. But the fact that he's level 8, and I could open up 8 rank, ex rank 8 exceeds, but you know what? I, I prefer Goka, but it's there if you want to try it. Next up, we have Kickfire, which is a continuous trap card. It's pretty much Wave Motion Cannon for fire attributes. And I like the armor quite a bit. It's got that, uh, I think, Robokochi, whichever that is. And Pachi, that Robo and Pachi, has like 100 attack, 2150 defense. I don't quite remember, I think that's the name, Robo Pachi. But it's got like an orc. Looks like the Tardy Orc freaking kicking through it. It's like, hi, -ya, ha ha! He learned karate. Anyway, it's a continuous trap card. Once per turn, when a fire, face a fire monster, monster you control is destroyed by a card effect, place one counter on this card for each destroyed fire monster. During each pl either player's turn, I mean standby phase, you can send this card to the graveyard and inflict a thousand damage to your opponent for each counter on this card. Now, frankly, this is pretty much supporting Bone bo Bonefire, Bonfire Colossus because you'll be showing two fire monsters. Of a usually a fire monster plus himself, so you'll instantly get two counters on this, dishing up two thousand damage. Now, I really like this card because I think this card is super uber trollish. Mainly because you can just kill your opponent on their turn. <laughs> it's like if they're about to lose. And like standby face it. Oh, actually kick fire. You're losing your turn. Haha. -ha! I just think it's just that dickish and that trollish. And again, this is support for the Fire King since, you know, they revolve around this being destruction of card effects. And stuff like that. But I don't really see this getting used possibly. Some of them may think of like an OTK FDK with kick fire. I'm sure somebody probably will, and I'll, next, like tomorrow morning, I think I'll be going, Kick Fire's fucking OP as hell! You know? <laughs> but right now, I don't really think it's all that powerful, but you never know, we'll, we'll all probably be saying that Kick Fire's so OP, it's gotta get fucking banned, it's gotta be on the March 2013 ban list, it's gotta be banned, you know, we'll probably be saying that. 
even though it's not gonna happen because it's brand fucking new and but you know, somebody's bound to break it. I, I just I just see it happening, but as of right now it's not really an all powerful card. But I just love the trolliness trolliness of it. And there's really no other cards you can use instead of this because you know you got Wave Motion Cannon, but that's usually in like stall burn decks, you know. You know, but so there's really no other counterpart to kick fire that you can use in its place. But I would love, I want to tech this into Fire Kings whenever I can, just for shits and giggles, because I think this is hilarious. The artwork makes me laugh, and I, I just love this trolliness that kick fire is. So, anyway, those are the two cards Bonfire Colossus and Kick Fire. Two cards dedicating themselves to fire types, mainly Fire Kings, because Fire Fists don't really do what Fire Kings do in terms of destructions and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much about everything. Yeah, I, I do like both the cards. I like Kick Fire more. But, you know, give me your opinions on Bonfire Colossus and Kick Fire in the comment section below. Do you know any crazy shenanigans you can use with Bonfire Colossus as well as Kick Fire? I'm, I guess I'm sure someone's going to break Kick Fire. I'm calling it. Someone is going to break this card somehow. Don't ask me how I know this. I just have a feeling it's going to happen. As it seems like one of these cards that someone can just break. And we'll all be bitching about it. A couple of months later on the line, we'll be bitching about this card. Going, damn it, why does this card even exist? Why did Konami make this OP card? <laughs> I can see that happening so badly. But anyway. So yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, and bye.